Now, your Chris 6 weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. Welcome back. Here's our one shoreline sky cam. And if you look way off in the distance there, that's the uh, little storm system that's approaching with clouds preceding uh, rain that will occur here tomorrow night and into Sunday morning. Not a lot. It's not going to be a big rain event. If you're expecting one, you're going to be disappointed when that sun comes out uh, Sunday afternoon, the best part of the weekend, Sunday afternoon through sunset. Temperatures right now are cool outside. We've gone down to 61 degrees here. 62 in Robstown and similar readings throughout the coastal bend in the 60s. All of these numbers are less than this time yesterday when we had the uh, mid to upper 70s in the region. So it is cool, but it was a very nice day. Again, 61 right now will be a 58 after sunset uh, in an hour from now and down into the mid 50s by midnight. But the temperatures hit the brakes there because of the winds out of the east southeast and the atmosphere is actually warming up a little bit as we move into the morning hours and that's going to cause some clouds to occur that'll act like a blanket and actually keep us a little bit warmer and uh, stop that temperature drop. So while we'll be in the mid 50s in the middle of the night by 7 a.m. we'll be back up to 58 71 and cloudy at noon and uh, then we'll start to see scattered showers around five o'clock. So most of the day tomorrow, the daytime hours will be rain free here in Corpus Christi. Highs tomorrow look like this at 71 before the clouds uh, thicken up. 69 in Freer, 71 for Alice and about 67 in Port Aransas. So temperatures in a narrow range. Satellite and radar shows we had a little bit of high cloudiness earlier today. And now we have uh, this disturbance coming in with this moisture coming in off of Mexico pretty quick. This is with the uh, low level jet stream. And again, that's coming pretty fast at us uh, with an upper level low. And once that high moves out of the way overnight, we'll see the winds start to pick up on the back side of it. That's what we talked about earlier in the broadcast. This cold air coming in out of Canada and this big storm system in the Midwest is going to move off to the east and we're not really going to be affected by it. It'll be uh, this funnel system that will bother us uh, next week. All right, here's the high pressure again. There's the dry air again. That'll be gone by tomorrow mid morning. Then the upper level disturbance comes in, but it's not coming in at the best angle. Take a look at it. And again, it's going to move to Del Rio. It should be in Laredo for us to get a big rain and move across central Texas. So it's not very strong and it's in the wrong position. So I'm thinking we're going to have a lot of clouds, a little bit of rain. And then once it moves by Sunday, we're going to see a lot of sunshine. Another little system comes in and uh, then we're going to get this ridge building up and that's going to drive some cold air in here at the end of next week. Cloud and rain forecast looks like this. Starts to cloud up mid morning, then some showers break out, but not until about 5 p.m. And uh, then we're seeing scattered showers tomorrow night and with the front then on Sunday morning behind it, dry air. So things look beautiful here. Uh, Sunday afternoon with the sunshine. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Again, light rain only with this, but scattered about uh, late tomorrow into early Sunday. 56 and 71, 77 Sunday afternoon. Nice, 79, great on Monday. A little bit of rain early Tuesday morning. That next front makes more nice weather. But the end of next week, we'll look at it at the end of the broadcast. Mm -hmm. Not very good at all. Cold and wet. All right, thank you, Dale.